What's going on everybody, Yvonne here. Now, have you guys ever wondered what is your competition doing when it comes to digital marketing? And in addition to that, how can we be even better? Now, imagine that there's a tool out there, but the question is, how do we even know what type of ads our competitors are running? And I might have a solution for you. Imagine having a centralized place where you're able to see all the ads, the amount of spend, and what platforms your guys' competitors are running ads on. That way, you'll know exactly what's under their hood and you can apply similar strategies or even better to your guys' business. And that's exactly what we're gonna go over today. Today. We're going to jump into Ad Clarity's platform and we're going to see exactly how it works. All the way from finding what type of ads your guys' competitors are running to how much they're spending to what platforms they're running their ads on. And if you guys want to follow along with what I'm doing or even try out the platform for yourself, there is going to be a link down below in the description for a free trial of the platform. And once you guys click on the link, here's the screen you're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and click on it, but incognito just because I already have an account. From there, all you need to do to get started is just type in the email you guys want to use, your guys' password, create account, confirm your guys' email, enter in your guys' payment information, and after that, you guys are going to be ready to rock. And keep in mind, you guys are not getting charged today. You guys have seven days to explore the platform to see if it's going to be a good fit for you guys' business. But once you guys sign up, here's how it's going to look like. Now, Ad Clarity, which is the platform that I was talking about, is actually one of the tools that's under SEMrush. And SEMrush is a huge platform with all sorts of features ranging from SEO analysis to even keywords. But to go inside of Ad Clarity, all you need to do is just go to App Center, go to Ad Clarity, and boom, you guys are going to be ready to rock. Now, once we go here, there's going to be multiple ways that we can search. It's going to be either via advertisers, publishers, campaigns, or keywords. So when I say advertisers, those are going to be the businesses they're going to be actually advertising. And when I say publishers, what I mean by that is like where you're actually going to be seeing the ad. Here, let me show you guys an example. So if I go right over here, go to advertisers, I'm going to go ahead and plug in one of my favorite like fitness brands out there called Gymshark. I don't know why I've been so obsessed with it recently. Like I feel like what they're selling is super good. It's pretty clean. It's actually pretty affordable. I wish that this video was Gymshark sponsored, but not yet. So if we go ahead and take the URL from here, so www.gymshark.com, go to search advertisers it's already up here because i searched for it and if i click on it we can see exactly how much they're spending on their ads how many impressions they're getting and exactly where they're seeing their ads and what i mean by that is their ad type distribution so either it's a banner ad a video ad or a social ad now keep in mind this is going to be for all the different devices for all the channels and this is going to be within the last three months in the us and if you guys want to filter further you can go ahead and change the country here make it within 12 months right and you can kind of see the differences and as you guys see this information was found in 64 public Publishers. So what does that mean? If we go ahead and click on that, we can see that all those ads were running on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, and we can go ahead and view all 64. And if we scroll down, we can see kind of everywhere the ads were running. And the cool thing about it is that we can actually see the individual spend when it comes to each platform and the impressions associated with it. So if we go back here. It's crazy to me that for a fitness brand, they get a ton of people from Pinterest. Like, look, that's a lot of people of 198 million. And as you guys see, that's a lot of impressions coming from Pinterest. And like, if we didn't have that information, there's no way I would have guessed that. And as you guys see, that's kind of the big benefit behind the platform is that we're able to see those specific insights. And if we go ahead and go above here, we can actually see the advertiser expenditure trends. So usually when it comes to impression and spend, they're kind of like correlated with one another. So the more spend we have, the more impressions we have. So I think it's more interesting if we compare spend and publishers. And here you can actually see day by day on how many publishers we had, how much we spent, and like what channel actually came from. And as we go down here, we can actually see which ones were the most expensive and which one got us the most amount of impressions. Now, keep in mind, if you guys also have a fitness brand or anything like that, you can actually get some inspiration from this because you can actually see what's working from Gymshark and what is not. And that way, a lot of the similar trends, you can go ahead and apply to your guys' business. So if we scroll down here, we can see that these are kind of similar. So let's see what the differences are. So if we click on it, we can see that this one was from Pinterest and that it's been running for roughly three months. So it's pretty recent. They spent 35,000 on it already. They got 4.4 million impressions and they see PM is $8.12. But as you guys see, if we go to the other ads here, like for example, this one, we can see that it started running from August and it ran all the way till January. They spent 43,000 on it, had 5.3 million impressions, and the CPM was a little bit more at $8.16. Now you may be wondering, why did they turn this ad off? Now that can mean a lot of things. Sometimes there's different styles, sometimes there's different fashion trends, sometimes it's just a different season. But a lot of times it's simply due to the fact that the ad is not bringing as much revenue as the marketers hope for. So if we click out of it, you guys kind of get the point. We can see all individual ads and we can see their own performances. And if I go ahead and click on this one right over here, and as you guys see, cozy season ready, right? December to January, makes sense. I can actually go and see that full campaign report. So now we're going to be inside the other tab, the campaigns, and we can actually see within that specific campaign what the results were. So we can see how much was spent on it, how many impressions we're able to get, and all of the ads within it. And as you guys see, this was 100% ran on Pinterest, which is probably why it had such good results. But 
if we go back to advertisers here, we can actually see all their top campaigns and how they compare one to another. That way you guys can go ahead and go through the 438 campaigns that they have and cross reference them to one another and see what is working and what is not. Again, the copy of this is not copy and paste what Gymshark is doing because again, every business is different. But what I'm trying to convey here is the fact that Gymshark is already spending millions of dollars. So you might as well learn from what they're doing. Even though your business may not have the same budget, we can go ahead and see what trends are happening for them and how we can apply that to our own business. Because again, if you guys are running a fitness brand of some sort, there's going to be a lot of similarities when it comes to you guys and Gymshark. So you might as well capitalize on that. And in addition to that, what I would personally do if I was in your guys' shoes is I would go ahead and filter by specific time here. The reason why I would do so is because certain seasons like Christmas or 4th of July will have complete different trends. So we want to make sure that the campaigns that we're releasing are going to be resonating with our audience at that specific time. Because what's working for Christmas is probably not going to work for 4th of July or any summer holidays. You guys get the point. So what I personally do is cross reference between what you guys are doing and between what other big brands are doing. And that way you can go ahead and see what's working for them and see how that can work for you guys. And in addition to that, you can also spy on your guys' competitors and see what's working for them. And that way we can go ahead and get some of that market share. And if I was in your guys' shoes, since you guys are already here, I would play around with the keyword option here, just because there's going to be so many different features they're packed into there and SEMrush as a whole. So if I go back to the homepage here, there's a lot that's baked into the system, ranging from SEO analysis to organic traffic insights. So the goal of the platform is to be a one-stop shop for anything digital marketing related. And applications like Ad Clarity is just going to be a cherry on top. And we don't have time in this video, but there's a ton of other applications similar to Ad Clarity out there that can benefit your guys' business. So I'd make sure to check those out as well. And when it comes to pricing, there's going to be three different tiers here. There's going to be the starter, professional, and team. And it kind of depends on how into the weeds you guys want to get when it comes to your guys' analysis. So on the starter, it gives you guys access to one market or country, one channel, so display or social or video, three months of historical data, 50 reports, and top five campaign results. So if you just want to get your feet wet and try it out on a small stage, this is going to be a good plan for you. However, if you guys want to have access to more information when it comes to video and social, then the professional one makes more sense because it gives you guys access to three different channels so you can see the results when it comes to display, social, and video, six months of historical data, up to 100 reports, and unlimited campaign results. And the team version is going to give you guys 12 months of historical data, up to 150 reports, and other things are very similar. And there you folks have it. If you guys want to get an advantage from the marketing side of things and have access to all of your competitors' ads, you can't go wrong with ad clarity. As you guys saw, it allows you guys to see the actual ad itself, how much you spend on it, what channels are working, which ones are not, and what different CPMs were for a specific ad. So if you guys do want to try out the platform completely for free, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. And remember that on this channel, we'll make videos regarding different tools and platforms to help you guys start and grow your guys' business. So if you guys did get some value out of this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.